Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages and I'm able to pull on your energy, okay? Guys, remember this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Don't go try to make this fit into your life. And as you know, in tarot, time is fluid. This could be past, present, or future energy. Take it as it resonates. All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me what I need to see. Show me what's the energy surrounding Virgo. Obstacles to overcome. We have heels. So some of you guys, you're overcoming obstacles right now. Mm -hmm. Show me. Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Some of you guys are forming a deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Hmm. I'm also getting for some of you guys, you could be in a friendship already with someone of the same sex that you're actually missing or someone is missing you. But I'm also getting here that there may be a situation where as you may have had a friendship with someone of the same sex and you might have just found out that that person is actually interested in you or vice versa that's what just came to me then we have egg success assured with good plans and hard work i feel like that's all a part of you overcoming obstacles working on something actually investing your time and your energy into something whether it's something or someone, um, it's just your investment into whatever this is. And then it has broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. What I'm getting in this energy with all honesty, I just don't, I'm not getting that for you is an unsuccessful, unsuccessful outcome. What I'm getting here is that somebody tried to play you in some type of way, shape or form, and they were unsuccessful. I feel like they were a problem for you. Are there someone that was coming towards you and this person was bringing issues your way? And I feel like it's like you were guarded, you were protected, they, you were blocked from this person's energy. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this person was very unsuccessful in their approach to coming towards you. And then we have dog protection from a powerful friend. Look at that. Wow. All right. So it says protection from a powerful friend. And that's what I'm getting here in this energy. You have somebody here. For some of you guys, you have a friend. For some of you guys, you have a friend of the same sex that you don't even know that this person has feelings for you. For some of you guys, you have a friend that mean, that is actually jealous of you and actually means harm. Like, And when I say not, it's not really like a threatened kind of harm. It's just that they're fake is what I'm getting here in this energy. Hmm. I feel like because they see that you, I feel like it's because that person is jealous and they see that you're blessed. It's like they see that you're protected. They see that you're favored. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this friend is watching you glow up is what I'm getting here in this energy. And this person is actually jealous of you. But for some of you guys, this person is actually jealous because I just got like you may have started a new relationship and they actually have feelings for you, whether this is male or female or even same sex. Somebody's not expressing how they truly feel about you. So it's actually causing a rage within that person is what I'm hearing. You may feel that you have a friend for some of you guys. They're starting to act funny towards you or they're, they're not answering your phone calls or they're dodging you. Hmm. Show me what's the energy surrounding Virgo. Show me what's the energy. The sun. You're healing. You're happy. You're in your happy. It's like you're in a bubble is what I'm getting in this energy. It's like you're in a bubble. That's um, Leo energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. For some of you guys, you could have a friend that's a Leo that has Leo in their chart. Hmm. Show me, show me what I need to see for Virgo. What's the energy surrounding Virgo? Nine of Pentacles, wow, that's some nice energy. 
That's some nice energy. I see a lot of you guys, you're single, focused on your money, focused on the way that you look, your appearance, your stability, your foundation. The Hierophant. I see some of you guys, you're studying something new. Some of you guys could be teachers. Um, some of you guys could be moving towards a commitment. Hmm. Very knowledgeable, very intellectual. I see some of you guys, you're studying something new here. Hmm. That's some good energy so far. Show me the energy surrounding Virgo. And you know what I just got too? For some of you guys, Queen of Pentacles. Wow, that's some good energy, guys. That's some good energy. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. With the Eight of Pentacles, you're working. Like you're working. I see, I see stability. I see success. I see you learning something or teaching others of something. I feel like a lot of you guys, you may be on a spirit. Your spirituality is like it's risen. It's growing. I feel like your angels are here protecting you in this energy. I see for some of you guys, there's, there's a need. There's, a, there is. It's showing me, and I'm saying this, but wow, like you're doing good right now. So with this jealous energy here, I see why. I do see why because I see, I see you looking good, feeling good. You're independent. I see your life is stable. And but I but I feel like there's chaos around your bubble though, because you're in a bubble right now is what I'm getting here. I see you just working away, focused on on yourself, minding your own business is what I'm getting in this energy. And there is, I'm also getting for some of you guys, this could be an older individual in your family. And for somebody I want to say is your mother, whereas this person may feel some type of a way or this person may want to be a part of your success or a part of your growth is what I'm hearing here. Hmm. Show me what I need to see. Show me. So we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with judgment here. That's Scorpio energy. Hmm. But we have the King of Wands in the reverse. I don't like that King of Wands in the reverse. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. King of Cups, though, divine counterpart. Wow. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Just wanted one more card. There we go. Two of Cups, love. Some of you guys, you have your divine counterpart that's coming towards you. For some of you guys, this is somebody that wants a second chance, but this person was in and out. This person was a player. For some of you guys, you actually have two different people in your energy somebody actually three whether this this could be two or three different people I'm definitely getting two because I definitely feel like you are holding this queen of pentacles and this queen of cups energy or for some of you guys you could be an earth sign with water in your water in your chart strong water in your chart um or some of you guys could be in earth sign with strong fire in your chart and what I'm getting here is that I'm going to read it two different ways. I see you just kind of focused on your pinnacles, working on yourself, working on your stability, working on your happiness. I feel like you're just kind of, you're in a bubble. I see here with this rainbow, like everything, everything around you is just glowing. It's like you're on your glow up. That's where you're at. That's where you're at. And you're just focused. You're, you're two sheets to the wind. You're just focused. But we have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here that wants to come towards you for some of you guys. And because that person wants a second chance. I feel like this person has made a decision or you could have made a decision to walk away from this person. This person wants you to reconsider that decision. Okay, that message is meant for someone. But what I'm also getting here with this King of Wands is that this person was not, this person wasn't a stable, found. this person was, wasn't a stable statue. It wasn't sound. It, it It's giving me of someone that wanted to play games, someone that they let their ego get the best of them. Somebody that may have been quite ugly when they were mad, when they didn't get their weight. But I'm also getting here, this is someone that is not confident in themselves or their approach. 
Okay, but here we have the King of Cups. This person does love you. And with the Two of Cups, what it's telling me is that you love this person just the same. Just the same. And this person could be a soulmate is what I'm seeing here. Hmm. I've been picking up this energy a lot. This this energy, I've been picking up this in energy a lot. But I'm definitely getting for some of you guys, you definitely have more than one person in your energy. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here. So we have this sun. That's a that's Leo energy. Some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius, but that's Leo energy. That's you healing. That's you being in your happy place in your own little bubble, living your best life. Then we have this nine of pentacles here. That's you. That's your, your money's good. Your body's good. Your mind, body and soul is good. Your foundation is good. Your home life is good. Like you're you're looking fabulous i see your spirituality is up i see you learning new things i see you working away and i see this glow up look you're living your best life that's what i'm getting here in this energy but i do see that there's somebody here that they're offering you their cup but you're not really i see you just here with this queen of cups it's like you it's giving me a feeling of mm, i'm not too sure that i even want it you see how she's just pouring it all out like she's just emptying her cups. What I'm getting in this energy is that for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with dealing with a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the feelings that you once had for this person is no longer there. It's giving me that really standoffish feeling. I feel like you, you rendered judgment on this person already. But I'm also getting this person looking straight at you. This person is looking straight at you. Why? Because this person does want you to reconsider that. This person may have not, this person may have not voiced that. No, it could be somebody in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be an earth sign with that in their chart, or it could be a water sign with fire in their chart. So we also have this King of Cups here. That's a divine counterpart. And that's someone that is not, it's not expressing themselves truthfully, honestly, wholeheartedly it's someone that their love and affection for someone else is eating them up inside is what I'm getting I feel like with this king of wands and this king of cups here I feel like this person did not handle you well is what I'm getting here in this energy and I feel like it's like beating themselves up inside because of a missed opportunity more so with this two of cups here Okay, because what I'm getting in this energy is that this person is seeing how wonderful things are going for you. And for some of you guys, this could be a soulmate in any kind of way, shape or form. This could be a friendship. This could be a mother figure. This could be a sibling. This could be a family member. This could be a like a lover. Because I'm also picking up here for some of you guys, this could definitely be a mother figure is what I'm getting in this energy somebody older but I'm also getting like with this for some of you guys this person is seeing how well you're doing and this person this person is there's a lot of chaos surrounding your bubble okay for other people so for some of you guys you could have a lover a past lover a lover a friend a friend or a foe you know how that goes um or even a family member that is jealous because they're watching your come up and they want to be a part of this. But it's giving me a feeling of a missed opportunity because I feel like they had an opportunity to truly be a part of your life. And I feel like they made poor judgment calls. I feel like they didn't appreciate you for who and what you are. Um, I feel like I'm also getting, I'm hearing in this energy is that somebody thought you would do bad without them and it's hitting them differently because you're actually doing better without them is what I'm getting in this energy. All right, guys, let's clarify these cards. Show me, show me the sun. Show me the sun for Virgo. So we have the page of cups. Yeah. Hmm. That's giving me unexpressed emotions here. Show me this page of cups as cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy could definitely be somebody younger. 
but I'm also getting for some of you guys you're not interested or ready to date is what I'm getting here we have the nine of swords with the page of swords so that is hmm being exhausted tired of the lies Somebody wants to know where they stand with you. Hmm. And somebody also could be getting some bad news. I feel like you could be actually clearing the air with someone and letting them know how you truly feel. And towards this person, I feel like it's bad news to them. Because I feel like it's you expressing yourself, Virgo. Is what I'm getting in this energy. You're healing right now with this sun. You're healing. You're in your bubble. You're doing good. Life is good right now. And with this page of cups that came out in the reverse, we have the nine of swords and the page of swords. You're almost healed to the point of where you need to be. And I feel like you're going to communicate your truth to someone that could be a tad bit immature, someone that really and truly didn't express their true feelings for you until it was too late but what i'm getting here in this energy is that you're tired like you're just tired you're done you don't want to put any more effort or any more thought into this person is what i'm getting here in this energy show me this nine of pentacles show me the nine of pentacles for virgo whoa that just slipped out my hand and i'm not going to take any of that we saw the hermit though we saw that's all you that's Virgo energy. We saw this spiritual enlightenment. You're definitely getting downloads right now. Live, I'm telling you, you're living your best life. Two of Wands. Whew, that's past energy right there. Where, what is this indecisiveness here? Show me. Show me this Nine of Pentacles. Somebody has some indecisiveness in their energy here. Show me this Nine of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your boundary. Show me. Show me this Two of Swords. I see you blocking. What are you blocking? What are you protecting yourself from? Like your boundaries. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Huh. Blocking communication? Do you have somebody blocked? Do you have somebody blocked? And I see this person. I'm telling you, this person is trying to hit you up from every different direction. Do you have somebody blocked? Show me, Holy Spirit. Eight of Cups. Somebody that walked away from you. You definitely have somebody blocked that walked away from you. For some of you guys, with all honesty, when I'm getting here in this energy, this could be a friend that was ignorant. And you had to block them. It's like, it's giving me like, it could be a friend, a foe. It could be a past lover. It could be a family member. Because I'm definitely getting different energies here. And I see like this person. You know what I'm getting in this energy? For some of you guys, you're going to be getting some type of communication from a friend. That when you needed that person, that person was not there for you. It's like that person disappeared. But now this person is seeing how good, how well you are. And here this person comes back around. That message is meant for someone. For some of you guys, this is somebody, this, this is a friend that you went to school with. Yeah. Show me the Hierophant. Show me the Hierophant. That's Taurus energy. Show me the Hierophant. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn that you work with as well. Knight of Pentacles. That's slow. There's a commitment coming to some of you guys. It's moving. There, whoever this is, this could be an earth sign. They're moving slowly towards you. That's Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. They're con like it's they're approaching. It's like they're contemplating their steps. But they're they're diligently moving towards you for some of you guys this person could be your boss or somebody that you work with show me this knight of pentacles Ooh, 
Whoa, that's a whole bunch, but I'll take them. So we have the Three of Wands, Ten of Swords that came out in the reverse, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So you have an offer here. Hmm. So some of you guys, you have an offer from someone here that has, this person has too many options. There's a lot of deceit behind this person. I feel like for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an earth sign and it's giving me the feeling of this person may want to come and offer you something, but I feel like this person has too much going on. This person has other responsibilities, like this person has other choices. And while they do have an offer for you, I just don't feel like it's a stable offer. I don't feel like it's an offer. For some of you guys, you've been waiting for this. For some of you guys, you've been waiting for an earth sign to come towards you and offer you something. I feel like there's been a lot of, hmm, with this 10 of swords that came out in the reverse, it's like a never ending, it's a never ending pain. And I, I'm not getting a strong pain. I'm getting just an aggravating pain. Like one step forward, two steps backwards. And I see like you're looking forward. You're looking. I see some of you guys. You're actually looking at different options yourself. Some of you guys, you may be looking at different options yourself. And for some of you guys, you have a new offer of commitment coming towards you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here in this energy. So show me this queen of pentacles. Show me this Queen of Pentacles for Virgo. The lovers in the reverse. You're not seeing eye to eye with someone. Show me the lovers. That's Gemini energy. Show me the lovers. You're definitely not seeing eye to eye with someone right now. The Hierophant. So we have the Hierophant twice. That's Taurus energy. For some of you guys, you're married. Oh yeah, two of wands. For some of you guys, you're definitely, you're married. And you have an, you, you, you're you indec you're undec indecisive as to if. Because I, I got that energy early on. For some of you guys, you're indecisive as to if you're, if you're going to stay in this commitment, in this marriage. Because you and your person, you're not seeing eye to eye. You're not. Mm -mm. some of you guys you definitely have a choice to make is whether you're going to move forward or are you going to reconsider reconsider somebody's offer and I feel like that's that person that for some of you guys that's that person that had you as a choice in a third party something Show me this Eight of Pentacles. Show me this Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. Huh. Juggling. Show me this Two of Pentacles. It's almost giving me a feeling of trying to juggle. How do you say that? Um practicality and spirituality is what I'm getting here and when I say that that's even in terms of your work it's like trying to juggle your work life in your home life is what I'm getting here in this energy just trying to figure it out like it's there's an imbalance here there's definitely an imbalance between your work life and your home life show me this two of pentacles because I feel like there's somebody here that's just working away like everything's about work yeah, six of pentacles in the reverse. King of pentacles in the reverse with the devil. Wow. So we have Capricorn energy. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm so sorry. Some of you guys can definitely be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But that's Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. But. Hmm. Some of you guys, you have a Capricorn in your energy. In this person. Yeah. Some of you guys, you have a Capricorn that you are working with. 
And this person, this is somebody that you could be messing with that you work with. And this person ain't giving you like you given more to this person than this person is given to you. This person is really and truly this person is juggling you. This person, this person is juggling you. And I'm getting here in this energy. You know this. You already know this. And it could be just it could be any earth sign, but it's strong Capricorn energy here. And this person ain't got nothing to give you. This person is not giving you. I feel is is you giving more of yourself to this person than this person is giving to you. And this person is juggling you. This person doesn't appreciate what they have with you is what I'm seeing here. No, this person doesn't appreciate what they have here with you. Show me this Queen of Cups. You have feelings for this person, but I feel like you're trying to get over it. You're definitely trying to get over it with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see that? You're not, you're not, you're not sure if you want to proceed down this road. You're not sure. You have invested some time, some energy into this, but I feel like there's still a window of opportunity of walking away. Because I'm not seeing strong emotions here. I feel like it's something. I feel like for some of you guys, you were hoping that it was going to offer you something. But yeah, eight of swords. See that with this seven of pentacles on this queen of cups, like you weren't sure about it. You you want you considered walking away from it. And I feel like you've kind of made the decision to not keep yourself stuck in this situation, to walk away from it. Don't invest any more time into this. Um, that's why I see this queen of cups just kind of pouring her pour, pouring it out like those emotions, those feelings. She's like, whatever, like whatever. We're just going to get over that. But here we have judgment here. Let's see what's going on with judgment. That's Scorpio energy. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Seven of wands. Some of you guys, you're trying to get out of a, you're trying to get out of a marriage and there's some type of blockage here. Some of you guys, you're trying to get out of a marriage and I feel like you could be, you know how those marriages, whereas you have to stay separated for a certain period of time or you have to, you're fighting over community properties or you're fighting over children. So it's dragging itself out is what I'm getting here in this energy. I feel like there's someone here that. I'm also getting here in this energy. Someone here did not protect themselves properly with documentation. Like somebody here is getting screwed in a divorce or in some type of contractual situation here. Um, with the seven of wands on this judgment here is what I'm getting is that somebody is going to get screwed in a divorce or a separation of some type of way, shape or form. And I feel like it's because somebody's being petty because they're not getting what they want from you. Show me this. Five of wands. Like you're not even somebody didn't even protect themselves properly. They were dealing with someone here and they didn't use their brain. And I'm not saying that offensively by all means. It's just like if you knew what you knew now, you would have handled things differently. Show me ten of cups. So, yeah, this is some of you guys. You were married to this person at one point in time. You and this person was very, very happy together. Some of you guys, you're married to this person. You have children with this person. You, ha you, you, and this person were in a good place at one point in time, but you render judgment on this person. And yes, this is this person that, that was in and out of your life. This person was not faithful with all, with all honesty. And I do see that there's some type of blockage here for some of you guys. You could be struggling, trying to not only trying to make ends meet, but I'm, what I'm hearing is, is that you really and truly kind of got screwed in this separation or this divorce, or you're going to get screwed in this separation or divorce. Why? Because you didn't, again, you didn't know what you know now is what I'm getting here. Show me this King of Wands. Show me this King of Wands for Virgo. Show me this King of Wands. Four of Swords in the reverse. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting someone here who wants to heal something. Something wants somebody that was in and out of your life. They want to heal something. They do. This Four of Swords flew straight out here. And 
I feel like if you were if you were married, I'm going to take it down to the king of wands because that's what I was clarifying. But the way this card flew out, I want to say that for some of you guys, if you were married and you're contemplating, you're very indecisive as to whether you want to put in the work to try and reconcile with someone. Why? Because you're actually feeling that sense of freedom or you're feeling that sense of I'm doing good without this person. And I feel like also for some of you guys, this person could have treated you like as if, oh, she'll be back or oh, he'll be back. You see that whether you're male or female, you guys, you flip it and you switch it however you see fit. And I see like you did better moving forward. The struggle was real at first, but I see right now, present moment, you're living your best life in a bubble. And everybody else around you, that chaos is just moving in circles around you. And I feel like for some of you guys, if you were in a commitment or a relationship of some type of way, shape or form, or for some of you guys, even if this is a friendship, somebody here wants to, because what I'm also getting for some of you guys, you could have been, sorry about that guys. Sorry about that. First, I didn't even look over. When I looked over, I saw that it was, it was blocking. Um, so what I'm also seeing is for some of you guys, if you were in some type of partnership with a friendship that actually kind of threw your friendship off is what I'm getting here. Like y'all went y'all separate ways in some kind of way, shape or form. I feel like even that friend may come back and try to reconcile or try to heal whatever this, this issue was between you and this person. Yeah, but, but I feel like this friend even if it's a friend or a lover, I feel like they just had a nasty attitude. But now it's like life is not going so well for them. So now they want to come back in and try to heal the situation. Show me this four of swords. Show me the four of swords. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. They want to work on it. Some of you guys, this is definitely someone here. This this is this is definitely someone that you were in business with. This is definitely someone here that wants to come towards you and they want to try and work on something with you. They want to heal a situation. But I feel like for some of you guys, this is somebody that was very jealous of you. For some of you guys, this could be a family member. I just feel like it's giving me the feeling of someone who when you were down they 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 were they were done they were gone they were out of there now you're up and here they come again no matter who they are is what i'm getting here in this energy because i'd also get for some of you guys you have a family member that they see you moving on up they see you doing well and it could definitely be a water sign what i'm hearing here and now they want to come in and they want to be a part of that growth but I feel like you've kind of been on this solo mission, doing this thing by yourself. And now here this person comes wanting to wanting to eat from your table. But it was a table for one for the longest is what I'm getting in this energy. Show me this King of Cups. Show me this King of Cups for Virgo. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. So somebody that could be younger than you wants to come in with an offer. Show me this page of pentacles. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. I'm getting this as a water sign with earth in their chart. But here we have the emperor in the reverse. That's Aries energy. But this person has a, a serious temper. This person has an ego. This person is a narcissist. Mm -hmm. This person is a narcissist. This person has an ego. This person likes to be controlling. Like... And I, I, I'm getting a feeling like this person is, yeah, page of wands. This person is, this person is a player. This person is a player. This person, for some of you guys, this person could definitely be younger than you. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, and it's giving me like, this person's a player. This person's going to come in. They're going to offer you something, but it's, it's all, it's like giving me a facade. It's really and truly giving me the energy of this person just wears a facade 24 7 it's like it's this fake energy it's like giving you know it's giving you the energy of my you just want to pop <laughs> like it's like why are you playing with me is that it, this is what i'm getting here in this energy it's not giving me it's not giving me that feeling of someone that's truly genuine here no 
But I do want you to remember that you have something better coming towards you. You do. We picked that up early on. And why it is, is because you're doing like the energy that you're, you're the, the things that you're manifesting, the energy that you're living in this bubble that you are forming around you. There's going to be people that's going to come there. And they're going to be trying to poke your bubble. I get that. I totally get that here in this energy. But that's on them. And look, you do as you see as you do as you see fit. Yes, because for some of you guys, it's a family member, it's a friend or a lover. But I'm definitely getting for some of you guys, this is a friend. And this was a friend that when you needed them, they were not there for you. This is somebody that is jealous of you. This is a foe. Okay. Hmm. I see a lot of success coming your way. Your spirit guides wants you just to focus on focus on what it is that you're working on. Some of you guys, you're studying, keep studying. I see like if you're having some type of financial hardships present momently, it's going to be overcome. I do see that. For some of you guys, you're definitely, your spirit guides are protecting you from a friend that is not, this person does not mean well by you. This person definitely does not mean well by you. This person is jealous of you. Show me this two of cups. Show me this two of cups. The hangman, letting go. There's a need for you to let go of this soulmate. This bond that you have with this person, there's a need for you to let it go. Because it's kind of keeping you stuck. And look guys, a soulmate could be a friend, it could be a child, it could be a mother, a father, it could be a lover. Death, yeah, yeah, it's done. The Scorpio energy. There's a need. There is a need for you to let it go. It's done. It's over with. These people, they may want to come towards you, but you walked away from these people at some point in time, whoever this is. You walked away, star. Look at that. Aquarius energy. You walked away, and because, and when you walked away, shit started transforming for you in your life. Yeah. These people, look at that. We have. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the sun in reverse, and judgment in the reverse. These people lack stability. They lack happiness. Their life is not doing well. So for some of you guys, this is a lover, past lover. For some of you guys, you're presently messing around with somebody here that you work with, and it ain't gonna be. It's not about nothing. It's not gonna. It's not gonna give you anything. For some of you guys, you do have a commitment coming your way. For some of you guys, you have a friend that you probably went to school with from what I'm seeing here in this energy. And this friend is is jealous of you. This friend is jealous of you. For some of you guys, this friend, I'm talking about y'all had a bond at some point in time. And there was like a soul tie here. But something happened. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's like the struggle was real for you at some point in time. I also just got for some of you guys, that friend could have cheated with your person. I don't know why I just got that. Mm -hmm. it's definitely giving me some jealous energy here it's definitely getting giving me some fake energy fake emotions just immature actions and i just feel like you you just you got tired of these people whoever this was in your energy it could have been a family member it could have been a lover, a friend, whomever it is, it's just that you just kind of, you got tired. You got tired of these people's fakeness and all that. And with all honesty, like I said, you're living in a bubble right now and things have been going well for you and people are watching things go well for you. And here they are coming and it keeps telling me a friend, guys. It keeps telling me a friend. Here they come with their hands out. For some of you guys, there's somebody here. Your friend actually has a drug problem. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's why you had to cut ties with this friend. That message is meant for someone specific. That message is meant for someone specific. Whether it's a friend or a family member. Hmm. What do you have to say to Virgo? What do you want to say to Virgo? Okay. A calm at the center of the storm. 
unshakable mind. Um, that's, that's where you're at right now. I told you, you're living in a bubble. Like your life is calm. There's serenity around you. There's peace. Like it's giving me a feeling of just unfazed. Look at that awakened mind. Travel beyond thought. Inside flows from emptiness. Hmm. Some of you guys are empty nesters. Mm -hmm. I also just got for some of you guys, when you became empty nesters, that's when your divorce in like, that's when your marriage ended. And for somebody here, that's when you found out your person was actually cheating. Hmm. But all is going to be well, guys. All is going to be well for you. There's going to be some shakeups around you. But just keep doing what it is that you're doing. Keep living your best life. Keep taking care of yourself. Focus on your stability. Focus on your foundation. Focus on your happiness. Whatever brings you happiness and joy. Keep doing that. Okay, guys. I love every last one of you guys. I hope you have an absolutely positively wonderful evening. Bye, guys.